Hi, what I'd like to discuss here is a technique to make for safer approaches in gliders. Take a look at this first video. First of all, how are we going to make it? Yeah, the reference point's going down the canopy. When should we open half to two thirds air brake? I think about here. So let's do that. Maintain 55 knots. What's happening to the reference point? It's staying about in the canopy. And so this is about right, actually. There we go. We're going to round out right over the top of it, up the hill. Obviously, that was a great demo. Although I would say that, wouldn't I? Uh, but you can't always get it right the first time. I certainly don't. Here's a shallow approach on a windy day in a K13. If your approaches look like this, uh, they're too shallow. Okay, I've control. Because we don't have an engine in a glider, we need to maintain a reserve of energy in order that we can do a safe approach. That approach needs to be a steep one, especially when we're close to the ground in the latter stages. Make sure we're going to make it and then make that judgment. Now, I've judged that we'll open half to two thirds air brake approach, um, air brake there, and that'll be about right. But the reference point is going up in the canopy. 55 knots we've still got. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that the last part of the approach is good and steep. We've still got 55 knots and we'll re-judge the approach. So I'm opening the air brakes again, 55 knots, and we are right over that reference point. So what we saw there was that we were undershooting quite a bit to start with. We shut almost all the air brakes and then we reopened them when we could do a nice steep approach. So we're following the green line in the diagram and not the red line. So what we need to recognise is that the judgement of when to open that half to two thirds air brake is actually quite difficult. So what we need to do is to play with it while we're up high so that we can achieve a reasonably steep approach when we're down low. Now here we are on the approach. We might just try the brakes and see what happens. So we maintain our speed and you see that we're going to undershoot massively so in this case we're going to shut the brakes fly on a bit this thing's got amazing air brakes maintain our 50 knots 50 feet over the road for John and then recalibrate ourselves maintain the speed and you find that actually it comes in very steep at the end and that's nice and safe so what we've seen here is that approaching steep especially to clear obstacles near the ground results in a safer approach. It's also the best method to practice for landing short in fields, should that ever, ever be necessary. Shallowing approaches leave no energy to spare and should really be avoided.